Margaret Mitchell, a, a beautiful poet and a wonderfully well-known writer, I'll say a few things. She is very good. You will like this. We are glad to have you here. So come on up and read your heart out, as it were. Give a nice big round, please. dishwasher while he was talking and washed my hands. <laughs> Red-haired and hunted. Red-haired, handsome guy, I'm always attracted to you. Your fiery colors, self-confidence, and haughty personality. You think you've got style. You're better somehow. Your pride and self-love attract me like a moth to fire. <laughs> Friendship in a Facebook world. Facebook says I have a new friend. I thought I had friends before now. I thought I had other friends, friends who are not on Facebook and don't even know what Facebook is. Someone else looked at my Facebook profile and said, your 17 friends love you. Some invitations come from people I've never met. What is exactly is a friend? I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with Facebook. <laughs> You're not all that. About my poetry after we broke up, you needn't worry. Only one or two are about you. <laughs> shoveling yourself out of it. Shoveling mouse poop out of an old closet is like getting out of a bad relationship. You have to deal with a lot of shit. <laughs> On being loved. It's better to be loved than to love unrequited. At the very least, you get treated better. <laughs> Dump the one who treats you poorly. A word of advice. If a man cancels a date with you twice, refuse him any third opportunity. He'll never treat you well, no matter what hell he says he's going through currently. Google. Substitute for deity. Google knows everything. Watch yourself. Watch what's posted. You may find your information hosted by someone you don't know. about what you truly love, your source of inspiration. What if the other doesn't feel it? What if I'm left exposed? Ode 
to a missing phone. I can't believe I lost it. It's not here or there. I peer under car seats and piles of underwear. Where could it be? Where could I have left it? An absent-minded person needs a phone and can't quit looking until she's found and blessed it. <laughs> Friendly advice. You look great, but change your hair, get your nails done, buy new clothes, put on your makeup. This is my friend's advice. I don't tell her to lose 20 pounds because I'm too nice. Death by a thousand emails. The ball and chain is what a young man calls his laptop. The laptop, the laptop bag tattered from use, unable to escape email or the constant buzzing of Blackberry and phone, like cement blocks on his feet, sinking him to drown. Modern artist. An artist, frustrated, paints houses for a living, feels unsatisfied. His art, so beautiful, powerful, varied, comes out from time to time. Shy soul, unable to market his wares, puts his energy into other people's houses, leaving it behind. Yeah. Confession. I wrote a poem about you and titled it Adonis. I told him that we haven't made love, he said, surprised. His smile showed he wished we had or would. That was all I needed to know to make my day and night bright. <laughs> no. <laughs> First kisses. I want more than just one kiss. I do too, he said, looking at me playfully. He kissed me again and left suddenly. Action hero movie. Don't get too turned on by this muscle man. I am your hero, my handsome friend said. Can you imagine how elated I feel? A man I compare to God wants to be that for me. Dinner wear. He looked at her, he looked at me. She in high necked gray, me in deep necked gray. Turning to me, he smiled and asked, Are you in marketing? <laughs> Iron Man Movie Man. Did you see the movie Iron Man? I don't want to fan the flame of an impossible protagonist who can't love anyone. Problem is, I know guys like this one. They are technologists here in the Bay Area totally absorbed in work, completely unaware who they hurt, and terrible in bed. Out of patience. Mr. SMS only, I refused your kiss. You thought you'd snatch one, a little afternoon bliss. I ducked and dodged so you'd miss. I'm sick of being bottom of your list and tired of our days getting canceled. I'm out of patience with you. Too many. A man I used to date had to keep a spreadsheet to keep track of what he said to all his different women. How can he enjoy any one companion if he can hardly remember anyone's name? Surfer. Listening to your stories of surfing the big waves lets me see into your days as a younger man who felt invincible watching the tides, hearing the surf, smelling the ocean air, tasting its grit and salt, divining the next surge, grabbing life with all your senses.
his wish come true. A man with too many women said, just once, I wish I could sleep in my own bed. His new girl immediately wished she had already sent him home.